you guys must have seen a lot of you know chemical factories and you know other industries so what do real engineering systems look like you know they look like something like i've shown on the slide i mean i've I have some examples of stir tank reactors so this is where you you have a big tank with an impeller that is used to mix a multi phase system uh, we also see a lot of fluid as bed reactors in this i have a bed of solid particles and um, i blow air or some kind of gas from the bottom to fluidize my uh, particles or suspend my sub particles um, we have industrial boilers we have distillation columns so all of these are examples of real engineering systems and what you would notice in all of these is um, they are made up of metals you can't really see what is going on inside so it's very difficult to visually see the kind of process that takes place inside this um, process equipment this is one of the characteristics of uh, any complex engineering system right i mean it's difficult to visualize what's going on because you don't you can't see what is going on inside it's difficult to you know come up with experimental techniques that revolve around visualization to um, measure and understand the process in detail uh, i just wanted to highlight the fact that it's difficult to visualize these uh, complex processes um, because of the nature of the uh, design that we that we come across so moving to some of the applications of multi phase flows i mean uh, even though you might not have paid attention um, these flows and systems they're all around us um, starting with something that is uh, more prevalent even without uh, you know uh, human involvement i mean we have uh, natural and earth sciences for example um, the flow of a river um, sediment transport um, weather modeling i mean these are all examples of uh, large scale multi phase flow systems we commonly see multi phase flow systems in uh, chemical applications i mean any chemical plant will have a bunch of equipment and processes that uh, essentially deals with uh, more than one phase um, some of the examples are uh, bubble column reactors stir tanks um, separators fluidized bed reactors and these equipments they're used to produce a lot of different raw materials um, such as polymers um, engineered particles pigments etc um a lot of applications in uh, mechanical industry such as boilers aircraft engines internal combustion engines um where we essentially inject liquid fuel uh, it breaks into smaller droplets uh, in a in a medium that is made up of uh, air essentially we have oxidizer and fuel power generation coal combustion i mean you pulverize the coal you uh, combust the coal so you have uh, coal and your oxidizer as your uh, two phases there as well um you see a lot of applications in uh, mining field as well um you crush and grind the ore um so you have more than one phase there you have centrifugal separators your froth flotation your white temperature processes um similar in nuclear industry um cooling equipment heat exchangers and so on um some not so common examples would be uh, food industry i mean we consume a whole lot of processed foods uh, nowadays so some of the drinks that we would drink would have like more than one phase it would it would be an example of a liquid liquid uh, multi phase flow system where uh, you would have this first phase being suspended in a continuous phase um similarly um, pharmaceutical and biotech fields um you coat your tablets and you uh, produce your uh, tablets in these specialized equipment uh, that would be again an example of a multi phase flow system um your enzyme productions where you you have your uh, microorganisms and stuff i mean uh, you you you'd want to transfer mass across your different phases so you would uh, inject uh, bubbles of different phases um, in stir tanks so that would be an example of a uh, biotech application uh one some of the other ex examples would be you know your shampoos toothpastes deodorants lotions cosmetic etc um they usually have more than one phase so they would all be examples of uh, multi phase flow systems as well 
Uh, I'm just listing some that came to my mind, but there are uh, hundreds of other applications and systems that involve multi-phase flows. Thank you.